Word from the bird, this is my house. No ordinary house, it's a whore house. My name is Madame Lula Mae Jackson. My girls call me Lula Mae, sometimes Madame Lulu, Baby Lou, or just plain old Madam. The men call us whores, hussies, tricks, wanches, and all kinds of other stuff. It really don't matter to me, though. Long as they pay me my money, they can call us whatever they want. I've been a hussy most of my life. I done heard and seen it all. And done it all, too. <laughs> That's me and my mama. My mama's name was Sadie, Sadie Jackson. My grandparents was Otis and Doris Jackson. Granny died when I was just six years old. That man right there with that reefer in his hand is my granddaddy. He was one of them shell-shocked war veterans. Boy, that was a mean man. He seen so much and went through so much that he just lost his mind. He used to tell us about all them war stories. Said one time when he was fighting in World War I, he saw his best friend blow up right smack dab in front of him. Then he started all that drinking, going to them whorehouses. That's the way he met my granny. Mm-hmm, it run in the family. They got married, but it didn't stop him from going to them whorehouses. Well, granny got tired of it messing around on her, so she decided to go with her this tall, good-looking mulatto man named Cowboy. Then Granny ended up pregnant with Mama. When Mama was born, Granddaddy took one look at her and knew that wasn't none of his child. But they went on and stayed married anyhow. Then when Mama grew up, she met her smooth-talking man, and after one night, she never saw him again. Then nine months later, here I come. I never knew my daddy, but I didn't care because... Me and my mama was closer than two human beings could have ever been. I loved my mama so much. And I wanted to be just like her. Daddy, you need to stop doing that stuff. It's making you meaner than you already are. Hush up, gal. This here is my house. And I do damn well as I please. Otis Jackson. How you doing? Miss Sadie? Fine. Hey there, little pretty. Yes, yes. Mighty fine day it is. All of this sunshine. Trees just nice and green. Solomon, what she want? Well, your daddy here owed me a little money, and I just came to collect. Dad, give him his money. I ain't got no money. What'd you say? You heard me right. I ain't got no money, you up in the nigga. Daddy. We're going to try this one more time. Where is my money? What, what is you, Dad? I told you. Sitting there looking like an old billy goat. With my reefer coming out your face talking about you ain't got my money? Don't you know I kill you, Dad? Solomon. Solomon, stop. We won't get you your money. Just please don't kill him. I tell you what. I'm willing to forget this whole little incident if you do something for me. 
So it was a fine, young, pretty gal you got here. Yeah, well, take her and take that little nigglet of yours with you. Yes, yes. You's a pretty gal. Where are you gonna take us? I'm just gonna take you to my house. What are we gonna do? Look, I ain't gonna hurt you. Look, I don't go around hurting folks that don't owe me money. Well, how long are we gonna be there for? Look, just calm yourself down. All I want you to do is what I tell you to do. You take care of me, and I take care of you. And your little one, too. I know what you're gonna do to me. But I need you to keep your word. I don't ever wanna go to that man's house ever again. Don't you meet me in my bedroom? All right, little man. I'm gonna be right back. I need you to sit here, and I don't need you to go nowhere. You hear? Where are you going, Mama? This is my new job now. This is where I get where you get new clothes, and you get new food. Everything's gonna be all right. But I don't want to stay here. Why can't we stay with Granddaddy? Girl, he don't love us no more. He doesn't want us there. This is our new place. This is our new beginnings. We're gonna have good food. We're gonna have good clothes. Everything's gonna be ours. We don't have to eat scraps from nobody no more. This is what's best for us. I don't wanna go in there. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. I'm gonna protect you. As a matter of fact, I got this necklace that my mama gave me before she died. It's for me to always remember to be brave and strong. And I want you to remember to always be brave and strong. Hello, Daddy. What you doing over here, gal? You ain't got no business over here. Now, get! 
We wasn't gonna stay very long. I just wanted to let you know that me and my baby are doing fine. Just fine. Fine. I'm sorry to see that you're the same old drunk. See that you're the same old drunk. On the same old chair. At the same old house. As a matter of fact, here. Why don't you go get yourself some clean drawers? Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you one of them fancy gals now, ain't you? I know this, because I can smell you. I can smell you coming from a mile away. I can see it in your eyes. Just like that trick mama of yours was. What was that for, baby? Time's up. So soon? Mm hmm Thought I could get a little bit more time since we trading, you know? Henry, you know my time's money. Besides, the milkman will be here any minute now, and he trade too. Now come on. Milkman here. All right, tell him I'll be right there. All right. Trying to get your weenie, come on. I do. Go Five minutes. Five minutes. Meeting. Ray. Meeting in five minutes. May I? Sure, sure. Just one moment, please. 
It seems as though I heard the activity very, very early this morning in Eleanor's room again. You will take care of that for I sure you. will. I'll get right on it. Meeting in five minutes. Now, why I can't go out the front door like decent people? Because you didn't come in the front door like decent people. I done told you we ain't supposed to have overnight guests. But I'll pay. Shh. But I paid you good money. And I'm going to put it to good use, too. Now, you hurry up, get your stuff, and get your clothes on. Because if the madam sees you in here right now, she's going to get her gun, blow your head off, take your clothes, and... Come on. about scared me half to death. <laughs> Don't mean to scare you. However, Madam Lulu sent me here to talk to you. About what? Seems as though somebody done forgot the rules to the house. While we do value our customers, you do remember what happens to overnight guests, don't you? I sure hate to be the ugly one here. <laughs> but consider this a warning. Look, it just don't make no sense. This is a whore house. Whore house is supposed to be open all night long, just like whores. This is a high class, respectable brothel. We ain't just some old trashy hussies off the street. This is a, a, an establishment with business hours, which means we all gotta get our beauty sleep. So, Hef, I need you to go in and put some clothes on and get in there to that meet before Lula has a hissy fit. All right. Ladies, may I have your attention, please? You all are doing a lovely job. But remember, you keep your customers happy and the cash will flow. And, and remember... Oh, well, do pardon me for a moment. Well, good day, sir. How may we help you today? Pastor Albany L. Jenkins, senior oh, pastor of the Greater Bethlehem Baptist Church. I know who you are. But we are in the middle of a little meeting right now. Oh, just a few more tiny little minutes, but I promise you, it'll be well worth your wait. <laughs> Now, 
As I was saying, remember, our business is more than just sex. We give the customers the necessary attention they also desire. We give them an ear to listen to. We make them feel special. Somebody they can talk to. Somebody who will listen to them. Somebody who will make them feel special. <laughs> we give them what they cannot and do not get from home. But remember, this is not their home. Are there any questions? <laughs> Good. Now the right reverend awaits us, so let's not disappoint. Mm. Lucy, why don't you take this one? room and then slip into something a little bit more comfy, okay? So you just get your big old self into Lucy's big old bed and make yourself comfy, okay? I'll be right back. I'll be right here. Okay. <laughs> For you, Lucy will pay attention to you. Lucy understands you, so you just tell Lucy what's on your mind and tell Lucy what makes it hurt, and she'll make it all better. Pastor? 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 Hey! Oh, P Pastor, what's wrong? Oh, my Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Pastor! Stop me. Ladies? I'm ready for my heart attack. Uh-oh, all right, Lucy, honey, just hang on in there, all right? These things happen. Feel them? No, no, don't cry. Set your tears up. Set your tears up. Just take deep breaths. Deep breaths. It's going to be all right. Book on the paradise. How may we do you? We have lots of lovely ladies to choose from. Take your time. 
but not too much time. We do run a tight schedule. This one here? That's the man. She back yonder. Yeah, we go way back. Uh-huh, I see. <laughs> Lula May, you got another customer. Tell him I'll be right there. Mm-hmm. Ray Ellen, come in here and give me a hand with my girdle, will you? Mr. Solomon? Lula May. Look at you looking just like your mama. Good boy, you sitting there looking at me all sideways for, huh? I come all the way from Fort Worth to see you. Come here, girl. Oh! Uh, Mr. Solomon. What you doing here? I don't need you to remind me. Now, you pick your trick, do what you do, and get out of my house. I'll go with this one. But you just make sure that her stuff is just as sweet as your mama's was. Emma Jane! You call me, madam? Why don't you uh, show Mr. Solomon here a nice time? All right, madam. <clears throat> Cash only. Well, don't just stand there. Come over here and help us, won't you? <laughs> Shit, I ain't gonna help you. I ain't gonna be up all between your legs and everything, Eleanor. Oh! Honey! <sighs> oh. Shit. <laughs> Thank you. Go on now. <laughs> Go on. Thank you, honey. Go on. Go on now. Shit. <sighs> you in there? No thanks to you. <laughs> huffing and puffing and shit. <sighs> okay, I, I don't do no kissing. <laughs> Chip, what you talk about? You don't do no kissing. Standing there looking like an old nanny go. You gonna do everything I tell you to do. <clears throat> Lick it. May I help you? Good day, ma'am. Good day. M mighty fine day, isn't it? Yeah. May I come in? What you won't come in for? Well, this here is a house of ill repute, ain't it? I beg your pardon. Ain't this the whorehouse? This here is Powder's house. 
and is for colors only. I know, but I've always wanted to have me a pretty color gal, chocolate legs wrapped around me. Yes, ma'am, ever since I was just a teeny tiny little fella. Sir, I do understand your need for chocolate pleasure, but we do not open our legs to no white man. Ma'am, I promise I, I won't cause no trouble. Sir, I told you, we do not open our legs to no white man. Please, please, please just let me have the chance j j just to look at you. Just, j just to touch you, to, <laughs> to lick you too, if I may. I won't cause no trouble, I, I promise you. I, I, I got plenty of money too. Well, I guess we can make this exception just this one time. Um, come on in. establishment and money is due at the time services are rendered. Have a nice time. Come on. Come on, have mercy. Just ain't had a bit of tail. That ass is just as flat as a pancake. When the guys been a month or so, and all of them ain't been fat. Yeah, well, I know. And thank you. You never get too comfortable in this business. But I thought you told me I paint the girls and so much money you know what to do with yourself. Well, I mean, you can never have too much business. I mean, you got plenty of business, you can't just assume you got enough. And you're gonna have too much. And then you're gonna complain. Oh, Gator, my back is hurt. I know you got the book. Oh, shut up, Gator. Tell you a secret. Most of the men who come to the Paradise House do indeed come for good old fashioned sex. Some of them don't even come for sex at all. 
I just got the tone. They are the married and only, single and only. I don't want to spend some time with someone like before you get them all. I like to keep doing it for me. What you say? What I'm saying is, you're not no spunk chick. You can't keep doing this, man. You're going to have to get a job to meet you. You're not normal people. What I do is, when I drive, I'm going to be a hussy till the day I die. I got plenty of hussy. No, who was in care of that? Oh, that's Roscoe. Man with three kids. Always complaining about his wife. So she nag him all the time. She's not fat. Now there you go. That's another reason why I do what I do. Excuse me. Allow me to take you to a place that'll make you forget all about your troubles. Hello, Roscoe. To the phone around here. Paradise House, where your pleasure is our pleasure, your booty is our duty. Satisfaction guaranteed, no refunds. How may we do you today? <laughs> this ain't no hotel, sugar. This is a whole house. We don't take no reservations around here. First come. First serve. Paradise House, best tricks in town. <laughs>
Albany already got a first lady. Well, she ain't gonna be the first lady no more. I am. Oh, my. My. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, oh Miss Ray, thank you for your help. And um, you will tell Madam Lulu, won't you? Yes, I'll tell her. You is so kind. And special. So we'll. we'll. <laughs> and uh, uh Miss Ray, um, I'm gonna need your help getting him out to the car. I can't do it by myself. Now you know he's a big one. Come on. I didn't even know that you get his ass in here the first time. But the guys helped me. Come on. Come on. What's wrong with you? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, it sure don't look like nothing. You're sitting up there breathing all hard like you're having a heart attack. Oh, girl, I was just running around the house with a customer, that's all. Well, you know how frisky some of these men can get. Child, he wanted to play hide and go seek. Mm. <laughs> anyway, out shopping. Oh, it's fine. I had a nice little time till I had to stand at the bus stop for 20 minutes. Mm. <laughs> Tell you one of these days, I'm gonna give me a set of wheels. But I did buy this done in my hand. And I bought you in this too. Oh, no, you didn't have to do that. Oh, that's no, just a little toilet water. Don't think about it. Ooh, Shalomar. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Lou. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Smells good. Lou? Yeah? I sure hate to be the bearer of bad news. But Lucy quit today. She did what? I know. Try not to be too upset. Well, why did she just up and quit? Well, her and Aubrey decided they gonna get married. <laughs> I know, I know. Huh, and what? <laughs> you heard me. Girl, I knew that gal was real gone. I always knew it. Now, sometimes she'll come crawling back once he leave her for another woman. You never know. Sometimes these things actually do end up working out. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna get it six months. <laughs> Look, look, you find Lucy, you can find another girl. I mean, it may take a little while, but you'll find somebody. Huh. Come on, show me this hat you got. What you mean? The hat you bought. Oh, oh well, come on. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, I 
got. Little man, you walking around here being a wet rag ain't gonna help the case none. You've been like this for about a month. Now snap out of it. Shoot, business will pick up again. Look, and my coochie need a break in between customers. I'm doing one right after another, and another, and another, and here come another, and as soon as I get through that one, here come another. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, Ray. You know, just three months ago, this joint was jumping, and now I'm struggling just to put groceries in the cupboard. This was the most popular establishment in town, and now I'm struggling. Oh, look, men ain't, look, people change, things change. Men ain't looking for sophistication and class no more. They don't want to pay top dollar for a highfalutin hoe when they can go off the street and get some hussy and do the same damn thing, for, but for a lot cheaper. Cheaper, but not better. These little floozies is fresh off their mama's tit and don't know nothing about nothing. I'm not fixing to sit here and let my hard-earned money and my hard 20 years of work go to waste to some schoolgirl hussy who don't know her ass from a hole in the ground. So what you gonna do about it, Madam Baby Lou? I don't know yet, but just as sure as my name is Lula Mae Jackson, you best believe I'm gonna figure something. <laughs> well, until then, I'm gonna go ahead and fix myself a little piece of chicken, collard greens, candied yams, macaroni and cheese, a little hot water cornbread. You might wanna do the same, cause you wasting away. And don't no man want no bony hoe. <laughs> Amen to that. Now, Eleanor, where in the way you think you going? Look, this dry spell is, it ain't doing me no good. Last time we had a steady stream of customers up in here, Harry Truman was president. Oh, now, Child, my latest space is starting to dry out. No, now, Eleanor, it ain't been that long. And anyway, besides that, we still got our regulars coming through here, and you still got your regulars coming through your window every night. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Eleanor, please, you must think I'm a plum fool if you don't think I hear you sneaking men in here, in and out of here, at all hours of the night. See, that's the problem, Lula Mae. All these rules you got around here. No overnight visitors. No this. No that. I got to look out for me. I'm gonna go back and work out on the streets. Where I can make all of my own money, set my own rules. Well, at least here you got food to eat and a place to lay your nappy head and I pay you more than your fair share. And I am worth every penny of it and more. <laughs> These little stick bone huzzies can't do it like I do. These, all these little wanchers, they scared. They scared to be a nasty gal, but I'm a nasty gal. Nasty, 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 downright filthy nasty gal. They don't do no rubbing. They don't do no sucking. <laughs> they don't do no licking. And they don't do no slurping, slapping, or grinding. But Eleanor, Leola, Josephine, Ruthie Harris, I do it all. I sing to it. I make it sing. <laughs> I ride it. I drive it. I sit on it. I squat on it. I blow on it, toot it, and I slurp it, slap it, rub it, and I grind it. You know, <laughs> I had me this man once who wanted a a back scuttling and a nut rubbing all at the same time. So I took this here little fan of mine and I rubbed it and I rubbed it. <laughs> oh yes, I did. I do two some specials on Monday, three some specials on Wednesdays and all the meat you can eat on Fridays. Damn. Damn. <clears throat> well, I guess you gone better leave then. Look, if business picks back up, maybe I'll come back. You walk out of my house right now, don't you even think about coming back. Get off my damn suitcase. Give me my damn jewelry. After all I done done for you, you old leech! Don't walk on.
on my grass. I want you to go out there and make me a sign first thing tomorrow morning. What, what kind of sign, madam? What kind of sign do you think? The help wanted sign. But I'm, I think that's illegal. Do it anyway! Yes, madam. The rest of y'all get out of here. Gator's place. Gator, I need you to send me some more customers. No fooling around. Oh, here we go with this again, baby Lou. How many times you gonna call me and tell me this? As many times as I need to till you send me some decent customers. Baby Lou, I done sent plenty of people over there. And every time I send somebody, all I'm hearing is, He too fat, he too sharp, he too ugly. You a bougie hussy. Well, that ain't my fault, Gator. Back when I had more girls, I could just give the fat and the ugly ones to them. But now that I gotta do them myself, I ain't about to do no fat, short, stanky, greasy, ugly. With bad, with bad rhythm and body Look, Lula May, I got my own business here to tend to. And I don't have time to be tending your business. So if I find somebody that's not ugly, I'll just send them to you. Gator! 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 Ooh. Lou, you want a piece of chicken? I don't want no chicken! Baby Lou! Come on, I'm coming! Oh. Shit, I eat myself. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, darling. Why don't you tell me what you think? I'm sure it's lovely, but I will go and take a look. Hi! May I help you? Girl, you some gravy and I wanna be your biscuit. I wanna sop you up. Gator! What's that? Never mind. Come on in. Gravy, gravy biscuit. We hit Paradise House on a cash only establishment. That money is due at the time services are rented.
I want you to purr like a little kitty cat. <laughs> to see you here, Lula May. Yeah. Doing a little shopping, I see. Oh, yeah. Doing a little shopping. You know Ray and our world-famous cooking. <laughs> you know, I never did tell Ray this, but anytime it's dark or late at night, I go in that kitchen and I eat like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what time it is. And I eat like a pig, too. Oh, Gator, you a mess. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it all as well in paradise? Well, I can't complain, even though these little young hussies is coming stealing up my business. It just make me sick. I'd be cash and trade. Same time, same place. I'll be there. <laughs> See you later. All right. Little May. Let me take you home. My name is Perry. I was sent here by a gentleman who goes by the name of Gator. Hmm. Is Lula May available? Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, I'm sorry. You just missed her. Do you have any idea when she'll be back? Oh, well, she said she was going to the supermarket, but uh, can you come back in like a couple of hours? I thank you kindly. All right. Oh, thank you. Good day. Mm, that's what an angel from heaven looks like. Lord, take me right now. 
Can smell meatloaf a mile away. Hey, just something I threw together. Hey, Reverend, how you doing? Hello, Gator, how you doing? I'm doing fine, and I don't mind staying for dinner myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good looking man came by to see you today. Did? Mm-hmm. What's his name? I don't know the man's name. He didn't tell me. You mean to tell me you didn't even bother to get the man's name? Well, if you see how good looking it is, you'll understand why I don't remember the man's name. Oh, my. You said Gator sent it. He said, oh, good old Gator. I knew you come through for me. Let me go stretch it up. <laughs> he said he'd be back in an hour or so. All right. Hello again, ma'am. Hello. Is Lulu May returned? Oh, yes, yes, just a moment. Baby Lou! Lulu! My, my, my. Show sure is good to see you again, Lou. Too bad I can't say the same. Oh, so you, you two know each other? Yes, we do. Lou, why don't you introduce me to your friend? All right, I'll reintroduce myself. I'm Perry. Just so happened to be Lou's ex-husband. Ex-husband? Lou, you never told me you was married. You bet my heart if you never shared that information. Something I should have never done in the first place. Do you mind if we talk alone, please? Ooh, is me? You want to be? No, if anybody's gonna leave, it's gonna be him. Look, I'm here. I really need to talk to you. You heard what the lady said. Now get the hell out of here before I throw you out. Uh, come on, Lou. Can I have just a minute of your time, please? Lou May. She don't want to Gator, talk to you. Gator, Gator. It's all right. You need to call me. Hmm. And if you need me, I'll be in love. I'm sure you're probably wondering why I popped up out of the cliff boot like this. And I had to swallow every bit of my pride to come here. But believe it or not, I ain't never been able to get you out of my mind, Lou. Does your wife know how much I stay on your mind? Ex-wife. I see. Why are you here? To make peace with you, to clear my conscience. Look, I broke up with you for her, and she broke up with me for another man. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. Goodbye and have a nice day. No, no, come on now, wait a minute, Lou. Now give me some credit. I ain't gave you the truth why I came here. You leave me for some hussy 20 years ago. Then she turn around and leave you for somebody else. Then you come back to me whining about how she done left you for somebody else. And then you just expect for me to just... Well, I don't know what you want me to do. Lou, I know this may sound silly, but I'm about to make history. Hey, what in the devil are you talking about? Now, you know I always dreamed about flying airplanes. I took some college courses, got some odd jobs. I was making $9 a week to pay for flying lessons that cost $5.25 for 20 minutes. I was just gone so much. I came home one day, and Sissy unpacked up all the things in mine and left. And besides that, after spending all this time trying to get my pilot's license, they don't even hire blacks to fly passenger planes. After many years of trying to get myself back together, to all this rejection, the good Lord had some mercy on me. Will the May, I'm about to be the first black pilot to fly United States commercial airlines, and I want you to go with me. Perry, that's nice and everything. Wait, no, but... no, wait, I don't want you to give me an answer right now. Don't say, because you're going to tell me no. I want you to really think about it, so you can tell me yes. Perry, I don't need to think about anything. I have my family right here in this house. We may not be the most upstanding citizens of these here United States, but we all got one thing in common. 
We all colored girls just trying to make it. Every last one of us have been hurt by the people we love the most. We've been sold, raped at 12 and 13 years old, kicked out of our houses, cheated on. The outside world might not love us, but we sure enough got a whole lot of love for each other. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the only thing that matters. I guess that means my time is up. Thank you for allowing me to talk to you. It's part of my job. God bless you, Lula May. God bless you, Perry. Ray, I know you're listening. You can come on out now. Friends. How come in here you didn't tell me you have been married? Cause you never ask. Well, you got a point about that. Hmm. Nice looking man, no? What? Never mind. I see you looking out the window at it. I just... There you looking again. Hush. doing here this time of night? Mr. John, hell, we closed. I'm terrible, sorry. I, I just couldn't help myself. Look, if Miss Lulu catch you here this time of night, she'll skin you alive. Now, what do you want? I need more chocolate. Look, we told you one time only. Look, this is a colored establishment, Mr. Johnny. Won't you go on back over there with them white folks? I can't. After I had all that chocolate melted all over me, I, I can't never do white again. Oh, please do me again. Please, please. Hell no. Good night. Take your ass home. What? What? Now, if you do me in, Look, I'll, it's your deed. I'll, I'll pay you I'm extra. I'm trying to explain. Do you speak English? I'll, I'll get you. What in the hell is going on here? All this commotion out here. I'm trying to get my beauty rest. And what in the hell are you doing back here? Mm-hmm. See, he don't want to listen to me, but I tried to tell him. Hmm. You go on and handle it from here, Lula. I'm going to bed. Good night. Crazy ass white man. So help me God. If you don't get away from my house right now, I will blow your head off. Miss Luella, I, 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 I do I do apologize, but so help me God. If you'll wrap those chocolate legs around me tonight, I'll buy you a new car.
<laughs> Lulu, man. I know you hear me. Don't play crazy. Lulu. Lulu, I'm talking to you, gal. Where in the hell did you get that car from? Chocolate. Ooh. <laughs> well, you don't have a driver's license. So, I know how to drive. Girl, look, it's a little bit more to driving than stopping on the red light and going on the green. Well, you don't say. What you think? I'm a dead blasted fool? Ain't nobody I said, know that. Look, ain't nobody said all of that. I'm just saying, I'm just, you don't need to be driving no car. Oh, well, now don't be such a wet rag. Relax. Relax. Ray, I got everything under control. Now. I feel like shaking my booty. Go on, check yours. <laughs> 1957, driving with no driver's license. Colored one. Don't make no sense to me. Shut up! Get on in here and shake your Because I had a little bit too much chocolate. <clears throat> I can get you some salsa. No, no, no. I've got a little stomach ache, but I'm all right. I just uh, have to go out for some fresh air, that's all. With your car? Of course. Please be careful. I will. Come to my paradise I'll be your friend for a night Come to my paradise You can have it once or twice Come to my paradise Ooh, But don't tell your wife What's wrong? Why the long face? Listen, you 
God, her sis now. He. Is that what you want to call it? He. Had I known that, I'd have the job myself. He. No. No need for you to run off your customers anyway. No need for that. Who's that? Bobby. Oh, he's a, he's a gal boy. He knows about my paradise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About my paradise. And what? About my paradise. And what you know about? You know, he's sitting over there, go ask him. But don't tell your wife. Lula May. Why don't you just get a decent job? Why do you do what you do? Because my mama did it. Her mama did it. I turned my first trick when I was 13 years old. And I had to drop out of high school just to keep turning up. Then I decided to get married when I was 17 years old. My husband left me for some other woman. And then my mama dropped dead of a heart attack. I ain't even never known my daddy. My granddaddy sold both of us to some drug dealer to keep himself from getting killed. It's all I know. And I ain't going to be nobody's mammy maid. He knows. He knows. He knows about my paradise.
glad you made it home safe. Thank you. You need an ear? No. Little man, don't get angry with me, but I read that letter you got today. I know I shouldn't have read it, but I only did it because I'm concerned about you. serious man on our hands. Now I know I told you not to worry because business will pick up again and I meant that. Shoot, but until then, we gotta start charging some of these regulars more money or something. Because I am not about to start scrubbing no white man's flows or washing his dirty drawers and I sure as hell ain't gonna start lending my titty out to this baby. I know that, Ray. Sitting up here whining about it ain't gonna fix the situation, huh? Well, you sure right about that? Well, let's just get some sleep, okay? Good night. Good night, babe. Right. Hey, can you tell me? Jimmy, where my man comes to us? Come on in. Oh, 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 my. Really? <laughs> Gator, how business? Mighty fine. Mm -hmm. Business is good. Well, I guess I'll go in my room and list. I mean, I'm going to go to bed. And these are for you. Oh. Well, thank you, Gata. They're beautiful. Why don't you come on in and have a seat? I'm on with you. Lola May, I'm not a man of many words. And I'm probably not the man that you normally go for. But I can't deny my feelings any longer. I've loved you for a long time, Lula May, for many, many years. And I know I'm not a Harry Belafonte, but I'm a good man. And I have a big heart. Anywhere I can take you out on a date sometime. It sounds lovely. I also brought you this necklace. I want to put it on for you, little man. It's 
been in my family many, many years. And my mom told me to give it to somebody special. Always remember to be brave and strong. I'll believe it now. Kendall. Kendall Clifton Murphy. Say goodbye. Why do we try to hide the pain in our hearts? We know it's so hard to go through it all again. We make a very special team We always seem to get it right And the land of us Never really was Better than to love Pretty flowers you got there. Where'd you get those from? Oh, special friend of mine. Sure is nice to get flowers. It's the nice and pretty. They smell good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen, Miss Lula. I really, I really have to be leaving now. Okay. I guess what I mean to say is. I don't want to be a hoe no more, so I can't work here no more. I'm just not getting any younger. None of us are. I don't. I don't want you to be upset with me. I, I, I guess if if there were, or if you had some extra customers, I could stay maybe a week or two. Not many customers coming around no more, but. I do, thank you. I don't want you to be mad at me. Emma Jean, you know there comes a time in everybody's life where we all need to move on. And I do understand that you want to move on and you have my blessings. But just promise me one thing. You will take care of your beautiful self. And if anybody try to mess with you, I'm going to snatch his eyes out. Thank you, Miss Lula, Maggie. Come here. <clears throat> Could you be a dean? Put these on the table on your way out. Sure. 
Thank you. You really are a doll, this little thing. We know. After a long and careful consideration and some very, very deep soul searching, I have decided to retire from this business. Therefore, Paradise House will close 30 days from today. When I first started this business, I well, I did do it for some selfish reasons. And then other reasons, too. The truth is, I ain't getting no younger. Y'all ain't either. But, um, <clears throat> comes a time when love takes over. Yes, it does. I had forgotten what love is, but I do think I found it again, and I love you all, I love you all very, very much. some flowers he changed a thousand clocks to meet me after hours he's crazy yeah he's crazy about our love Whoa. this love in my life I know he's there for me He'd climb the highest peak And he'd swim the widest sea He's so crazy Yeah, he's crazy about our love Oh, but this love Wrong. I love you just too much, just too much. I've forgotten my own song. Cause I'm crazy. I'm just too crazy. 